Hey guys, in this video we will see how to install the uh, Cyanogen mod Nightly uh, 10 for the uh, Galaxy S3 and I have the AT&T version with me. Um, so the first step would be to copy the files over to your phone. So I've downloaded the CM10 uh, flashable zip file and all you need is right click on the file, copy it. And uh, I've connected the phone and you can see I have the uh, external SD card and the internal SD card. The internal SD card is usually named as phone. So you need to go into the phone and you need to paste the zip file. And make sure that you're copying the zip file over to the internal SD card because some uh, versions of the clockwork mod recovery usually doesn't see the external SD card. So just copy it onto the phone. <coughs> so you have the uh, CM10 uh, nightly as well as you have the Google Apps. And this is the 726-2012 version of the Google Apps for Jelly Bean. And uh, this ROM doesn't come with the uh, inbuilt Google Apps. So you need to flash the Google Apps after you finish flashing the ROM. So make sure you have two of these uh, files copied onto your SD card. I will put the links in the description. Just make sure that you download the appropriate versions for your phone. So let's get started and the rest of the procedure would be on the phone. So first thing you need to do was turn off the phone and start it in the recovery mode and to do uh, the recovery mode uh, you need to do press three buttons all together at the same time the volume up power and the home so all these three buttons at the same time and once the screen flashes samsung you need to let go of the buttons and wait for the phone to start up in the uh, clockwork mode recovery <coughs> so there you have it the clockwork mode recovery I'm running the version 6.0.1.1 and uh, first thing you need to do is you need to back up your current ROM just to make sure that if anything goes wrong in middle you have something to go back to so I always follow this procedure whenever I'm in, in installing a new ROM so just click on backup this procedure might take five to ten minutes so I've skipped I will actually skip the uh, procedure uh, yeah uh, it took about five to ten minutes for me uh, usually depends on the amount of data your phone has so for just for the time purpose I've skipped the entire procedure while it was backing up so uh, what we're not going what we have to do now is go back and uh, do few procedures before actually installing uh, the zip <coughs> we need to wipe the cache and Dalvik cache so first let's wipe the cache click on yes this usually doesn't take much time so it's done already so now let's go to the advanced I'm just trying to focus the phone yeah let's go to advanced and let's wipe the Dalvik cache uh, just click on yes wipe the Dalvik cache and uh, now let's go back was just trying to double check whether I have what Dalvik cache or not. So yeah, uh, let's wipe the user data as well. Restore the restore the phone to factory settings. So this is going to take a little bit more time than compared to the other processors. So just make sure that you are all the way through. So data wipe complete. So what you need to do now is go to install zip from SD card and uh, choose zip from SD card and select CM10 ROM file now. 
so when you select it you have to double check uh, you have to click on yes install cm10 so go ahead and install the cm10 and uh, this process takes about a minute hardly a minute and it is where it's installed in the ROM right now I really have a bad cold so please excuse me for my voice so yeah it looks like it's complete and now let's flash the Google Apps and uh, yeah double click on yes just double check click on yes and it should be installing the Google Apps Google Apps for Android 4.1.1 2012 7.26 that's the version So yeah, it looks like it's complete. So all we need to do right now is to reboot the phone and you should be uh, done. Uh, so let's click on uh, reboot. So I'm waiting for the phone to reboot now. And uh, <coughs> usually the first uh, reboot takes about a minute or two. So yeah, I can see the new boot animation logo for the Cyanogen Mod 10. Previously used to have the SID. And I'm not gonna go through the entire setup procedure. I will just leave when we get to the first screen. So you know what to do because you just need to enter your Google address, Google uh, email, uh, and uh, it would back up and restore everything, whatever you had, the contacts and everything. So yeah and i mean and that's all that's about it for this video uh, and if you need anything else um yeah just let me know in the comments um yeah uh, thanks for watching the video like and subscribe for more videos